Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, appearance settings and themes. Uh, if you go into the movie poster settings, you'll find that there's a tab called appearance. Uh, within here there's a drop down to change the theme, uh, as well as the tagline and uh, font text styles and colors and some different different image tags that you can change. Uh, now you can change each of these individually if you want to. Um, your tagline appears at the bottom when your uh, home screen shows. The home screen by default uh, is a straight Dane Cinema logo that shows when the program starts up uh, in between uh, now playing events um, and if uh, screens turn on and off it'll be shown briefly uh, when the new screen turns on. Um, so we can change some of these just for the sake of demonstration. We'll do Happy Holidays, if I can spell correctly, it'd help. Uh, we can change our font styles. Uh, we'll, might as well do Comic Sans, sure, why not? And we can also change the colors of the text. Uh, so the tagline text by default is white, but we can change that to any other color we, we wish. Um, yeah, why don't we leave, let's leave that one white, but let's do our start and end times and some nice festive colors. There we go, something like that. Now the theater banner, you can uh, change this to any image that you like. Um, by default, in the default theme folder, um, in the banners, uh, there are a few examples in here. Um, the welcome banner is the one that's shown by default, but you can come up with any other image that you like and replace it with that. Uh, they're all PNG images. Uh, by default, they're 2130 by 403 pixels. Uh, that seems rather large, uh, but if you're displaying on a 4K screen, um, all that resolution is actually utilized. Now the default flags, uh, audio aspect and resolution flags, those are what's shown down at the bottom of the poster display here uh, when there's uh, a coming soon poster shown. Uh, now obviously if the movie's not playing there's no data that tells movie poster what those flags should be. So here you can set the defaults and these are shown uh, for every coming soon poster unless you go into the poster definition and change it to something specific. Uh, so in this case if we'd like everything to be 4K instead of 1080 uh, we can select the 4K flag. Um, similar for aspect if we want those to be 16.9 for example for whatever reason uh, we can change that. And if our audio is uh, only Dolby Digital, we could save that, and those would be the default flags then. Uh, so if we save this, the uh, program will reopen, and you'll see that our font has changed. Once it comes back up here. Uh, this movie must not have a tagline. But you'll see the, the resolution flags and audio flags have changed to the settings that we defined. Uh, if we open up the web remote and uh, we'll utilize the manual now playing feature. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, uh, the way that it works is you just pick a poster from the cache and click on this little gear icon and within the options you have uh, manual now playing. And if you click start, uh, what that does is use the information stored in the metadata that show that for, for the runtime, and it emulates the playback of the movie. So you will actually get start times and end times and progress throughout the movie. You can see it just starting. There's a little sliver of the progress bar uh, to emulate the runtime uh, based on that data. Uh, so this can be used uh, if you are playing something off of a Blu-ray or a streaming service that doesn't have a supported plugin. Uh, but you'll see here our start time, end time, fonts, and colors did change in corresponding to the appearance settings that we adjusted. Now I think we missed in here uh, the theater poster. Uh, we can 
also change that to any image we like. I happen to have some uh, on my desktop here. Um, we'll just choose that one, nice, something nice and festive again. Uh, so once we save that, that will uh, come up as the home poster when, when everything loads up. So that's a simple way to change the backgrounds uh, for the main poster and the font settings. Uh, you can do a little bit more. Um, we'll uh, close out of the program here for a second. Uh, if you go into your document folder under movie poster, uh, you'll find there's a theme folder. Now uh, in here you can put a custom theme that includes different uh, audio flags, video flags, the theater banners, that those are the uh, the now playing and coming soon banners. Uh, if you'd like to change the look of those, you can do that by uh, putting a theme within here. Uh, now on the movie poster website, on the download page, if you scroll down a little ways, there is a sample theme, uh, the MQ4 theme. If you download that as a 7-zip file and extract it, uh, you'll end up with a folder like this that contains all of those images. So there's a background, there's the banners, then logos we have all of the media flags for the audio, video, etc. Uh, theater, uh, this is again the home poster that displays. Now to use this is quite simple. Simply copy that theme folder into the movie poster themes directory. And when we relaunch the program, on that Appearance tab, we'll find that there's an option to select an alternate theme. So in Settings, Themes, now we have MQ4. And if we save that, Relaunch it. That will use the default banners and images from that particular theme. So you'll notice the resolution icons are slightly different style. Uh, as well as the aspect ratio, the audio flags, again, slightly different style. Um, the poster we don't have set to the default, so this is the one that we had actually set previously. Um, so that, that's the basics of how to apply a pre-existing theme, uh, but what if you'd like to make your own? Uh, we'll cancel this out, close the program. And the easiest way to do this is to simply take a theme that's already existing, uh, since you probably don't want to recreate all of the uh, logos, um, but just make a copy of it. There are thousands of those logos, so I probably don't want to recreate all of them. Um, but those image files, uh, you can find those online if, if you ever look at um, themes or uh, oops, uh, themes for the Kodi media player. All of the audio and video flags follow the same naming convention as those theme files. Uh, so if you download any of those, you can get the logo images from there and uh, replace these images with any that you find for any Kodi themes that the image layout is the same. Uh, so we're going to make a Happy Holidays theme here and I, I do happen to have um, some images already uh, wherever I happen to put them. There we go, our Christmas theme. Uh, so these are the images we're going to work with. All I did is I went online and I found some uh, some uh, wallpaper backgrounds that we're going to use for our home screen and our backgrounds. And I made a 
quick style change for the headers uh, just with a little festiveness here. Uh, so the banners go in the banners folder. So we can take all of these. And again, these are just PNG files. And you can create your own in any style that you prefer. So we'll just copy those in here and replace the existing files. The home image goes in the theater folder. Replace that file. And background goes in the background folder. And we'll replace that. So now when we launch the program again, we'll have a third option for another theme. We'll have the Happy Holidays theme. Go to Appearance. There we go. Happy Holidays. Set this back to 1080 since this one apparently doesn't have a 4K flag. And save. And you'll see now we have the new banner with our nice festive theme. And if we go to uh, use our manual now playing plugin just to do an example. We have our now playing with the nice festive theme with our green and red text. So one thing I forgot to show is where to find the default theme files. Uh, so if you go into your movie poster directory, wherever you have the application files, uh, in the images folder, under themes and default, uh, this is where the default theme files are located. Uh, so if you'd like to make a copy of that to stick with the original uh, media flag styles, uh, you can make a copy of that default theme folder and use that as your base. Well, all right, that's about all there is to themes and visual options.